Good morning, folks. Good afternoon. Good evening, wherever you are. It's actually almost 2 a.m. in Sweden at the moment, but we're here for a DJI launch. Let's get on with it live. Hey, folks, welcome to Droning On Live, and it's DJI launch night. Yay! Now I'm trying to wake myself up because I've actually just got out of bed. It's approaching one o'clock in the UK, it's approaching two o'clock in Sweden. DJI, why do you do this to us with times as crazy as this? And it is quite unusual actually, because an event like this is normally in the afternoon in Europe. So this is a, a rather strange time to be, for this event to be unfolding. But we're here, we're awake and we're excited. We've got loads of people watching. We've got over 100 people watching already, which is absolutely brilliant. Thank you to everybody that's tuned in so far. Now, it would be a bit lonely if I was here doing this on my own. And it's very short notice as well. I was hoping to have um, a bigger panel of people, but it's, it's quality, not quantity, isn't it? And as a YouTuber, it's really nice that we get these opportunities to collaborate with other YouTubers. But it's nice, I think, rather than collaborating with the YouTubers who already have hundreds of followers to give the other guys a chance. And we all started somewhere on YouTube. I had a couple of hundred subscribers when I was starting my channel three years ago. And my members who have joined the Droning On Club, I like to give those guys an opportunity to grow their channels as well. And so I've got with me one of our channel members. His name is Henry Robotic, and he has an absolutely brilliant channel of his own, and I'm going to bring him in right now. Say hello, Henry. You are live on Droning On. Hi, guys. Um, <laughs> how are you guys doing? So Henry Robotic um, has his own YouTube channel. He's one of our long-term followers. He's um, been commenting on our channels for a while. He's one of our Droning On Club members as well. He's going to be joining us for this live because... This guy is only 13 years old, and yet he has an absolutely brilliant YouTube channel. And I'm not just saying that, but genuinely, I've, I've been watching this guy's videos for a while. He's on top of the latest drone news. He's been constantly talking about the Mavic Mini and various other leaks from DJI. Um, he has a crazy mustache. I've told him to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> but Henry, do you wanna introduce yourself and say a little hello about what you do and a little bit about your channel? Yeah, hi. Uh, my name is Henry. Um, I run a YouTube channel called Henry Robotic, uh, based here in Southern California. Um, I like to do reviews, leaks, and uh, videos on uh, drones and action cameras. Most of them are GoPros or DJI products. Uh, you can find my channel as Ash said by searching up Henry Robotic. There we go. And good for you, Henry, for starting a channel at such a young age. And I think, you know, genuinely your videos are really, really good. And you're always out there putting the news out there first. So there'll be a link to <clears throat> Henry's channel in the chat. And we'll also put it into the video description later on. But really good to have you here to join us for this launch. Yeah, thank you for having me. Absolute pleasure. So the event starts, as you can see from the countdown down there. Henry, if you point to it somewhere on your side, 17 minutes until the event starts. Now, sadly, we're not really going to have an actual event. We're not going to have people on a stage. The days of the launch of the Mavic Pro um, all those years ago, 2016, are long gone, sadly, because of this global pandemic. But what we are going to see is the live page updating when the countdown finishes and probably links to the products and also a short video. We're also, however, going to have a premiere from DJI, which is quite exciting. This is something that didn't happen on the Pocket 2 launch uh, a week or so ago. Uh, we had some videos that went live straight away, but we didn't have any premiere um, already queued up and ready to play. So that's quite exciting. And as you can see, there are 683 people waiting for that premiere. Now, rather than you just sitting there and watching that, not being able to chat or comment to anybody else, hence why it's great to, to be airing it here and watching it here live because you can chat to us whilst we're actually seeing it. So Henry, what do you think we're going to see tonight based on what we've seen so far leaking? I think we're definitely gonna see a DJI Mavic or Mini 2. They got rid of the Mavic part. Um, so I definitely think we're gonna see a Mini 2. 
Um, but there have been some confusing like teasers. Um, for example, on PGI's Twitter page, you could uh, see a bunch of like astronaut or paper airplane um, like teasers. I have no idea what that's about. Um, Ash can talk about how maybe there's another product coming, but I think we'll definitely see a Mini 2 because we've seen unboxings. Uh, it's on the Fly app and we've seen official images of it. Exactly. And I completely agree. These teaser images are so confusing. I, I I don't know what's going on, DJI. So we saw two teaser videos that arrived over the last two days, or in fact, the last 48, yeah, 24 hours or so. This is the probably the most peculiar, which shows an astronaut in a desert with a paper aeroplane vertically taking off with the slogan, make your moments fly. Now, there's been speculation that maybe this suggests that, BM, uh, that DJI are going to be releasing potentially a fixed wing aircraft. There's been lots of rumor and speculation around that over the years. There is also, of course, the DJI FPV. Now, DJI's FPV system that they released um, over a couple of years ago is very, very impressive, but it's at the moment just a system that you attach to um, a drone that you build. I don't know if you've seen that, Henry. Have you ever been into FPV at all? Uh, no, but I've been looking into it. Um, yeah, I, I've been looking at, uh, for example, Ken Harry and a couple of those uh, videos of people getting into it. And I think that's something I would like to get into for sure. It's absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it's really, really immersive. And I think they've found that their, their actual FPV system has been really, really popular. And so maybe it's possible yeah. that we might see DJI releasing an actual quad. So a ready to buy, ready to fly quad with their DJI FPV system already installed. There's been lots of rumor and speculation around this, but I just think the kind of make your moments fly and the vertical takeoff could potentially be um, something related to that. Ah, people saying we've got a bit of echo. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know if that's me, because I have headphones on now. So hopefully, it shouldn't echo ah that yeah no. could be if you guys can let us know if you still got um if you can still hear echo from henry that would be great um so yeah there's that possibility the mini 2 um i mean we already know the mini 2 is definitely coming and henry do you want to tell us why based on a, something that you spotted earlier today uh yeah so on the dji fly app um when you download it or update it on the Play Store, you can see it says what's new. And right on there, it says include support for the DJI Mini 2. And it lists a bunch of uh, features for the Mini 2 that are only supported on the Mini 2. In addition to that, if you update the app, you can go into the app and you can actually go and activate the DJI Mini 2. Exactly. I've actually just put the app on the screen right now. So you don't even have to update the DJI Fly app, it's actually already there when you open it up. And as you can see, you can select the Mini 2. So DJI has already given the game away. I, I honestly don't know what DJI are doing on this release. I just think it's so bizarre how they've, how they've managed this. They've not really kept anything a secret here at all, which is just bizarre. It's, it's so weird. I don't yeah. know. I We saw a lot of leaks earlier. For example, Best Buy started selling them early for whatever reason. Yeah. But I never expected DJI to like do that sort of thing where they like spilled the beans ahead of time. Yeah, very, very strange. Very different release strategy. And no doubt the, the big YouTubers have already got their videos all lined up, ready to go live. But I feel really sorry for them because, you know, they've... they've I, I used to review products early for DJI, as did other channels of my size, but they've stopped sending them to us little guys now. And, you know, it's, it's a real shame because it was such an exciting opportunity to get these products before launch, test them out weeks before, and then, you know, have your videos ready, queued up to, to send out there. So, but I'm looking forward to seeing the reviews from the, the, the other big channels, you know, of, of whatever's coming out. The other thing to think about is the um, smart controller. Is the smart controller going to have support because I'm just looking through now on my smart controller and there's no Mavic Mini 2 on there at the moment. So I'm waiting for an update. I'll see if that gets updated during the course of this live as well. I'll keep checking. Um, do you have a smart controller, Henry? No, I don't. I just use my normal controller with my uh, Mavic 2. My phone, uh, an S10, is more than bright enough for me. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, S10 is a, a really, really good phone. That's actually the phone I have as well. Absolutely brilliant phone. So we've got 11 minutes to go. Wow, this is exciting. Let's see what we've got in the chat. So we've got lots and lots of people commenting. That's great. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Um, yeah, let's I see, see AJ, I'll Sorry, I continue. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Yeah, AJ Al Al Alvarez, go ahead. Go ahead, Henry. Yeah, he said he's already purchased it. I saw a couple of his videos where he went into Best Buy. And uh, yeah, it seems like a lot of people could actually go. And if you asked, you could see the Mini 2. Wow. Now, I wonder if this is orchestrated or if this is a, just a really, really bad leak. I wonder if this was meant to happen or not. Who knows? <laughs> it's very, very strange, isn't it? Um, AJ Alvarez yeah. says he's already uh, at Best Buy changed the date again for tomorrow. So oh, there's, wow. there's been a lot of confusion about this, actually. Um, and I, I think people have got very confused with time zones because of this different timing, uh, because the date and the launch time globally is exactly the same. It just depends on your time zone. So you can see here when I visit the page, it says 1 a.m. GMT. That's UK time zone. I'm actually in CET. So it's 2 a.m. my time um, and your time right now, Henry, you're still on the, the fourth, aren't you? And it's five, five o'clock your time. Yep, it's still November 4th and it's 4.50 right now. There you go. So this really confused everybody globally. You see, I see lots of comments of people just completely confused about when it's going to go live. Um, the, if we just go back to those trailers, the launch trailers, they're just so strange. Um, we've got an astronaut. Um, I've been looking at reflections in the screen of his visor trying to find a clue and I just can't find anything in there. The astronaut then looks over at what is what seems to be the biggest paper airplane you've ever seen sat in the desert. <laughs> oh, DJI, yeah. what, has, what is going on here? And then the paper airplane seems to have some propulsion underneath it, which then propels it into the air. Um, how this is related to a drone. Now, if this is just the Mavic Mini 2, I will be dust. I'll be gutted. I'll probably cry because it has. <laughs> there has to be more here, right? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'd be very disappointed in DJI. To be honest with you, they make their marketing really, really good. Like almost too good. A lot of people have said. So I, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, if this is not, if this is just a, a mini drone, mini two. I will be shocked because there's just something about these trailers. And this is the, there's two of these trailers, as we said earlier. Here's the first one that appeared. It's filmed in a desert. Again, a spaceman leaning against his plane. And then all of a sudden, lots of very rapid scenes flying across a desert. Nothing about this says mini to me. And that's why, to be honest, that's why I'm up. Okay. That's why I'm not in bed <laughs> sleeping yeah. because I just, honest. I, there's something different honestly, here, isn't there, Henry? Go on. Yeah, honestly, I thought it, it Um, Honestly, if I were in your place, I would probably be asleep right now. But um, also, one more thing to note is there's actually a third trailer. There's a third trailer on DJI's Twitter. Ah. They released it about an hour ago. Right. And they said two hours till launch. Um, I don't know if you can see it on there, but I, I can see it here. I'm actually um, hearing, sorry, I'm just hearing that actually it's on, the Mini 2 is on the DJI store already. No it is, way. It's on the store already. It's there, it's live. Uh, I think that says to us that the event that we're going to see shortly is for more than the Mini. I think the, uh -oh. the event is not for the Mini, I, I suspect. That's it. Yeah, you're right. You were that right. It's... That's definitely. This is so, uh -huh. so, so strange. So the DJI Mini 2, as it's now called, is on the store already. And if mm -hmm. this, you know, if this countdown is for the Mini 2, then. <laughs> what? what? I don't know. Something's gone horribly wrong. Maybe, I don't know, is this like a, a DJI? A, maybe their computers or their marketing team have been affected and something's just gone horribly wrong here because it, it just seems so bizarre either something like went so horribly wrong that everything was thrown out of whack 
Yeah. Or or you're right, and they're releasing another drug. Because why else would they have the app update, the on the store early, the Best Buy? I mean, that's like three individual systems that each failed. Like yeah. I don't I don't think there's one central system that controls all of them. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. We've got five minutes before the countdown hits, but let's look at some of the, the headline features here. So the first thing I see is this. I know we've all seen it already, but we haven't seen it flying. So this is quite interesting. This nice illuminated strip, this light that we have on the front, we didn't have that on the original Mavic Mini. And that's quite nice. And I think they might have done that for orientation so that people know when it's facing them, uh, which is quite interesting. Let's see what else we've got. Ultra light, still under 249 grams. Now it's interesting they don't say 249, they say under. Um, Ooh, seems a bit that's odd. That's interesting. Yeah, so what, your, yours might weigh a little bit less than mine, or, or you know, surely there's a fixed weight here. It seems quite strange. Uh, I don't know. See details in 4K, 30 frames per second. So that's the, the maximum resolution that we're going to get. 4K, 30 frames per second, as we pretty much already knew, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Four times zoom. Um, so again, we're probably going to get the same um, sensor crop digital. or the digital zoom exactly of the Mavic Air 2. That will that will actually appeal to, to consumers who are buying this drone because they don't want to edit in post. They just want to shoot footage. Uh, so I think that's going to be quite popular, actually. Um, as Canadian Drone Pilot says, it could be a curveball tossed to us by DJI. I think you might be absolutely right. I think this could be yeah. a distraction by by giving us the Mavic Mini 2 in Best Buy and in Media Mart and with these smaller YouTubers picking them up and managing to review them. Maybe they've distracted us from leaks of what actually might be coming out. Who knows? Yeah, I was going to say, because there's like no one's going to pay attention to some like singular image leak of some other DJI drone when you have like literal 15 minute unboxings of this drone that hasn't even been announced exactly yeah yeah exactly um sky slide ad you just said most people don't have a 4k device that actually doesn't matter um i watch a lot of youtube content now on my smart tv which is 4k a lot of people do when i look at my analytics on youtube a lot of people are watching on smart tvs now but not just that but when you shoot footage in 4k even if you're rendering it out to 1080p you've got all of that extra resolution. So there's been times when I've shot in 4K and I've been filming a boat and I want to show a nice open long distance view of that boat. And as you probably saw in the warm up video actually, and then in post editing, because I've shot it in 4K, I can zoom that in up to four times without losing clarity. So, the, you know, massive advantage in shooting in 4K and, and owners of the Mini 2, are going to find that useful because these people can can you know get that resolution and use it in post editing even if they don't want to render out at 4K. So yeah, we've got level yeah, exactly. five wind resistance that will be good because we, people keep losing their Mavic Minis in the in windy conditions. Precise flight Precise. with GPS. That's that's weird. I mean, of course it's got GPS. It's got GLONASS. It's got two <laughs> types of GPS. Okay, Mr. Marketing person, that's very strange to put that into the promo. 31 minutes flight time, that's good, we knew that. Up to 10K video transmission, now that's FCC, not CE, remember. Oh. That's a bit of a worry, I have to say. Uh, 10 kilometers with the Mavic Mini, uh, it really is. Hey, Dan's Tube yeah. TV, thanks for joining up. Um, stay smooth, okay, mechanical gimbal, we know that. You this is the, the sad thing, really. We already know all of this because of the leaks. Panorama shots, yeah. Enhanced photo. It's a shame that some of the software updates are not coming to the original Mini. The software updates that are coming to the Mini 2 in the app, so enhanced automatic uh, photos, you know, that could easily be a feature that comes to the original Mini as well, but yeah, unfortunately they're not gonna do that. I just saw the astronaut from the, from the promos. Ah. in the video that's not good <laughs> yeah that's true in, in this video we've just been watching do you mean oh there he is oh yeah. no no please don't, don't let this just be the mini 2 there's our astronaut well spotted henry this is disappointing if this launch is just oh. for the mini 2 especially seen as before the countdown's even completed it's in the store to buy already ah oh. oh, um no. 
If you guys are joining us a little bit late, uh, by the way, thank you very much for joining us. We've got Henry Robotic here, who's one of our club members. Um, I'm sorry to say it again, Henry. This guy's 13 years old and he has his own YouTube channel full of videos and he's already right on the top of the news with leaks and everything. So if you're not yet subscribed to Henry, there's a link in the video description. He's joining me here live for his first ever stream to an audience of so far just under 200 people and isn't he cool and calm <laughs> so and well done and by the way i keep telling henry he must get rid of that mustache because this is what he looks like without it <laughs> yeah that was that was two years ago it's really long time ago <laughs> oh the countdown's almost complete the premiere on the dji channel is going to start shortly as well so i'm going to go full screen so that we can watch that you can see the chat on this youtube video going crazy this That's is on dji's nice. official youtube channel uh, there are 1768 people waiting to watch this video right now so this is are we going to see the mavic mini video that we've just seen on the dji website i'm worried that we probably are to be honest the page has now updated, by the way, so we can learn more. Let's see where it takes us. Uh, learn more. Okay, they've not quite got that working very well. Yeah, Mavic no. Mini 2. Oh, oh no. No. Sorry, folks, but I think this is the only product that DJI are launching tonight. And I'll be gutted if that's the case. Uh, well, let's see. The uh, premiere on their YouTube channel is now commencing. The chat is going crazy on their video page right now, as you can see. We just have to hope that DJI are giving us something more. What do people think in the chat? Come on. Martin says DJI is smiling all the way to the bank today. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. We've got Lone Star UAV. Hey, Lone Star. He's one of our channel members as well. Thanks for joining in the chat. Lovely to see you there. Um, Cardoso Media said um, the same for the Mavic Air 2 announcement. It was in the store 10 minutes prior to release. So, oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah. So 1 minute 15 until that premiere starts. We'll switch back to that in a minute. But if you're joining us later, the Mini 2 is already in the DJI store to buy. It's 479 euros. Or if we switch to dollars, how much are you seeing it for, Henry, on your side? uh 449 us dollars wow is what i'm seeing it as that's a lot of money so we've got a price rise basically um the, yeah. the original mini it's and i think time. i think that's too expensive for what yeah. it is i really do um we're gonna air this this premiere live as well on this channel so with it's nearly 30 seconds until this airs <clears throat> So what are you going to be feeling, Henry, if, if this premiere is for the trailer we've just seen on the DJI uh, website? I don't know what DJI is doing anymore. I, just pure disappointment <laughs> in DJI, honestly. Yeah. Like, what? Uh, what? Yeah. I mean, all of this for what? <laughs> right. Here we go with the premiere. I'm going to bring up the sound so we can hear it. And we'll just let we'll just watch this and then we'll come back to you guys. Oh, Henry, what can I say? <laughs> so disappointed, my cam even failed. <laughs> <laughs> so disappointed your, your phone died 
I am shocked. I am really shocked that that's it. I, I, I thought the fact that it had gone live in the store, that we've seen so many leaks, that this exciting premiere on the DJI channel would have been for something else. But they've even renamed the video now, Meet DJI Mini 2. So that's it, folks. Oh, that's... God. That's just so disappointing. I can't believe they would do that. I what am shocked. Is, what, what are they doing? Yeah, I think so many people had their hopes up from these trailers as well, the, the Rocket Men trailers, that we were going to see something different here. But no, instead, we, we it's just the... Yeah, I'm shocked. Absolutely shocked, actually. So what do we think? Are you going to buy the Mavic Mini 2? Because, I mean, I've got the Mini, and I have to say, I don't need 4K. I've got the Mavic Air for that, Mavic Air 2. Um, I don't really need the extra one-minute flight time or so. Um, and I don't want to spend $449 on it. That's that's too expensive for the Mini now. They've got greedy. Yeah, I mean, for what? You're paying, I mean, like $40 less than what you could get for like a, a Mini 2 with the full fly more combo. You could get like the Mini, okay, so the Mini 2 is $449 for the base model. For like yeah. $50 more, you can get the original Mini just with the full fly more combo. So I, I don't know. I, I'm i disappointed. I think there should have been more features. I think it should have been a better drone for what they're asking. Honestly, I think yeah. the original mini is just a better deal to buy right now because you're paying so much more for 4K and 10 kilometers OcuSync. I think you're right. I mean, yeah, the OcuSync element is nice, but to be honest, the, the mini is not a drone to be flying up to 10 kilometers away in FCC. It really isn't. Um, yeah. I mean, it's a lightweight drone. Why would you be flying it that far? Exactly. I would be scared of, about losing it in the wind or something. And yeah. I, I'm kind of disappointed they didn't add any more resolutions other than 4K 30, because otherwise it's the same resolutions. You still have 2.7K 30 and 1080p 60. So. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, as ZigZag says, it's for newbies and travelers, absolutely. But, um, you know, it's it, if you've already got the, the question here is if you haven't got the Mavic Mini 1, the original, then perhaps this is a worthwhile drone to buy now. But again, it's a bit like the Osmo Pocket. If you've already got the Osmo Pocket 1, the benefits of the Osmo Pocket 2 are a little bit superseded. It, it, it's great. It, the, the Pocket 2 is a brilliant device, but if you already own the one, it's not much of an upgrade. And I see the same here, really. If you've already got the original Mavic Mini, it's not much of an upgrade, really, if you don't need OcuSync and you don't need 4K. Yeah, so the Myco Ghost says that um, he's gonna save up for the Mavic 3. And honestly, I'm gonna do the same because I don't, I just don't see any reason to buy this right now. I mean, it, it feels like DJI's been doing little tiny refreshes of things yeah um, yeah i think you're right i think um dji have, have struggled through this pandemic as other manufacturers have and so for that reason they're trying to bring out iterations smaller iterations of products which don't have the the amount of cost and complexity that the bigger products you know brand new model has and let's face it the, the new mini 2 is is the old mini um, but with some internal upgrades, you know, okay, it's got some different props and a different camera, but and the in in internals are different, but the actual drone itself, you know, they've, they've been able to manufacture this, I think, quite cheaply. Um, as Lone Star exactly. says, it's an evolved product. It's it's not a new product, really. Um, exactly. Cardoso Media, I'd lose sight of it at 500 meters. Yeah, exactly. The, the worry is, though, people have been losing the Mavic Mini in the sea, the original Mavic Mini because it's just lightweight. It's not designed for heavy wind conditions. And this new Mini 2, it's got a different battery um, uh, chemical platform. So it's using lithium polymer instead of lithium ion now. Um, it also has more powerful motors. But if you fly this thing in wind, it's still going to get carried away. And I worry that people flying it that far away with OcuSync are going to end up losing it. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, I don't think there's any reason to be flying that far. I mean... Exactly. Yeah. I'm just actually also checking on the smart controller. This is the other big question. Is the smart controller going to support it? And how long is it going to take? 
And the worry is, you know, the Mavic Air, it took many, many months for that smart controller update to arrive. However, that was largely the complexities of getting DJI Fly on that device. They've done that now. So hopefully this is just going to be a simple app update. Um, hopefully, yeah, because I mean, all all I had to do to to get the uh, um, Mini 2 to work on my app was just updated. In your case, you just downloaded the already updated version. Hopefully yeah. that's all they have to do, but maybe it's a little more complex because it's like a, I don't know, full full new drone, who knows? Yeah, it could be. Yeah, possibly. Um, I th or I would, think... would, would OcuSync 2.0 work? Oh, yeah, 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 because yeah, it worked with the uh, Air 2, yeah. Exactly, and that's the good thing. You know, at least it's going to arrive pretty quickly. We've got some interesting add-ons here. Um, optimal accessories. This is an interesting looking one down here. Um, what is that? A snap adapter. I saw that last time. I still don't understand what it is. What like, is that? I, may, I As far as I can tell, it's something you write on or... I don't know. To me, it just looks like an old television set. Ah, it's got a little USB port on the side of it. Is it a... Um, do you put a little screen in it or something? Honestly, I I couldn't figure it out. I, I gave up. Um, no, I just think that's a really bad idea because that's just promoting the people, owners of it, to fly it close to people. You know, because you're going to have to fly it pretty close to be able to see whatever's on that screen. And I don't like the idea of that without prop guards. Not only that is, it's gonna put your drone over 249 grams, and then all of a sudden you have to register it. That's very true. Yeah, you should register it, but we know that people won't. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, Martin Long said it's a light for night flying. I, yeah, I can see that as a purpose, but flying people flying this at night makes me even more concerned. <laughs> Yeah. Um, X Cross just said he's got 14 notifications about M2 Mini 2 drone videos. Wow. Someone else said, is it worth buying the Mini 2 if they've already got their Mavic 2? Now, they are very, very different classes of drones. It's a little bit like comparing uh, a, a BMW 5 Series with a, a BMW Mini or a you know, Mini. Uh, they're, they're both for different use cases really the mini's small small it's portable it's lightweight it's quite capable it's got a good flight time and ocusync 2 whereas the um the bigger brother the mavic 2 is a real proper camera platform stable you're going to get much better long expo exposure photos with that extra weight there and overall it's just a much more capable drone so it depends on your use case really and also regulation it depends on where you are where, where are you based by the way henry uh southern california so Right, and you have regulation coming in there, drone regulation for uh, registration, etc. Yeah, I already registered all my stuff. I'm old enough to, so that's nice. Um, previously, I had it registered with a friend, um, yeah. and he would always have to be there flying with me or oh. actually flying the drone. Really? That was wow. Yeah, that wasn't fun, but <laughs> yeah. So now I'm able to. Hey, I'm now able to register it to myself. So. That's good. good for you. And just to say, I'm sorry to keep bringing this up, Henry, but Henry is 13 years old. He's one of our channel club members. He's a long time follower of the channel. And I invited him onto this his first ever live stream on YouTube um, to say thank you for being a channel member. And also just really because he has his own channel, which is great. There'll be a link to it in the video description as well. But he produces some really good content. So go and take a look at that. His channel's Henry Robotic. Well worth having a look at. Um, Oscar yeah. said, what is your input? Are we to expect the DJI Mavic 3 this year or next? Um, it's an interesting topic, this. The Mavic 3, we keep saying the Mavic 3, but at the moment there's not actually any evidence that there's a drone out there to succeed the uh, Mavic 2. We would normally expect to see some leaks and things early in advance um, during development. We've not seen any of that yet. We have seen some patents for some optical stabilization technology, but there's no absolutely no link with that and a Mavic 3 at the moment. Um, what are your thoughts on, on possibly seeing a Mavic 2 sequel, Henry? Uh, I, I don't think so anytime soon. Uh, honestly, all I think all the Mavic uh, 3 news is pretty much fake in my opinion. Exactly. Uh, something, yeah, something I would like to point out though is yeah. the Phantom 5. 
Uh, remember Hakasushi, the Twitter guy who uh, posted that image? Yes. Uh, he actually uh, commented on uh, Osita LV's tweet recently, saying that the release date was postponed. So that's interesting. I'm yeah. not sure what to make of that, but I don't know. I don't think we're going to see any refresh to the Mavic or Phantom line anytime soon, honestly. I I think I'd agree. I'd be even more surprised if we actually saw a Phantom 5, I have to say. Um, I'm not convinced that we're going to see a sequel. Uh, Hakasushi, yeah. That's interesting. The thing is, we don't know who this Hakasushi is. There's Henry Robotic, yay. Um, yeah, this, this goes back to a while ago. A tweeter randomly tweeted what yeah hakasushi tweeted what looked to be a a still from a marketing promo which showed what appeared to be a phantom 5 but we've seen nothing else from this since and so it does appear to to be um just a, a bit of a spoof i don't think it's real i think it was just a one-off thing to be honest with you because literally that's like a, a new account that yeah had recently been made and they've only done one tweet since that uh that this tweet that you're showing right now of that image and it's just been a text-based tweet saying oh the promotional thing has been cancelled so i i honestly i don't think this is anything i think you're right yeah it's, it's so disappointing that we didn't see anything else tonight from dji i think we all really had high hopes that we would see something new um but unfortunately not. Let's see what reviews we have live. So these are from the, it's always great when a product goes to live to see which of the big channels have a, an early look review. Cine D, um, we've got one there. DC Rainmaker, he produces some great content. 51 Drones. Peter McKinnon, I saw his somewhere. Ah, our iPhone do. Now that's a review. If you're gonna watch any review of this product, and you don't want to see the sales spiel, you want to see the reality, the blunt, honest truth with technical detail and great expert expertise. iPhone Do is just brilliant. So go and watch his review if you're going to watch any of them. Yeah, I've been following his channel for a long time now. That's a great channel if you ever to check out one, to he be honest. Is brilliant. Moment as well. That's interesting that Moment got their hands on one. Moment produced um, filters, I believe, for the most of the DJI drones. Jevon Dobby, he's another brilliant creator. Really, really good content. Absolutely worth looking at. Um, Flight Path, b &H Photo. <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't had a leak before uh, now. They've been... <laughs> I uh, mean... Peter McKinnon, uh, that's another review. Definitely worth looking at. Peter McKinnon is a, an absolutely fantastic uh, videographer. So yeah, definitely good. Zigzag just said he's watched a YouTube video about the snap adapter, completely useless <laughs> accessory. <Yeah. laughs> it looks it, yeah. 400 AGL, I expected an F FPV quad. So did we, Mel. I am really, really disappointed that we're not seeing anything new from DJI tonight. But it, it looks like that's it, folks. I am a little bit like the Pocket 2 launch. I am... What an anticlimax. I mean, it's just, it's, I don't know what to think of it. I'm still trying to find out if they even support um, Active Track on the Mini 2, and I can't find any information on it. Ah, I, I don't know. That's an interesting one. If anyone in the chat has noticed whether or not this has Active Track or not. Yeah. Somebody asked, uh, Dinkonad asked, actually. Um, yeah, I. I don't see anything so far. Let's try and find that. Slow Shop and Custom um, has said the biggest complaint with the original was the bad and unstable connection. The Mini 2 won't have that issue. I absolutely agree. Um, I think with the Mini on its way, anybody who needed to change that should have got this sold very quickly. Um, if not, however, it's nice to have two. <laughs> because why not? <laughs> but yeah, I think absolutely Slow Shop, that, that is the one valid point signal and if you want 4k they're the two reasons to buy the mini 2 if you've already got the mini 1 if you haven't already got the mini 1 then think about what you need out of the drone do you need something that's light and portable um, and, and very very capable or do you want something more robust heavier 
better video platform with many, many more features, obstacle avoidance, in other words, the Mavic Air 2. Also think about regulation in your country. In the UK, we've got these new um, EAS, EASA rules, I can never remember the acronym, which are being enforced very, very soon. And that's going to really limit what we can do with drones in Europe. Uh, probably the same is coming elsewhere in the world because people keep flying like idiots and therefore regulation is going to be on the rise. As, as people keep flying over crowded cities, people keep losing signal over crowded cities with their drones, expect more regulation. So blame those guys, don't support them because they're the reason that regulation is coming in. Um, yeah, stronger motors, better wind resistance, absolutely, but I must say I've been flying my Mavic Mini for a long time now and I have apps, I've never had a problem in wind. So that is largely about people flying it in conditions that are just too crazy windy. Um, uh, yeah. yeah, I am. I am just really surprised. Camera is 100 megabits per second. That's right, Cardoso Media, but it's a 10K, uh, a 4K capable camera now. So it's got to have a, a better bit rate, of course. Um, it just the mini is a great little drone it, it reminds me of this video i captured with my mini inside a hotel so I, it was um just as the pandemic was starting to strike and i couldn't take it outside and fly it so <laughs> there was a, a hotel that had locked down and closed down completely um locked its doors and i said to the owners because i was there working uh, with my laptop as work hot desking from there i said can i fly my mini indoors and fly some media footage for you to use and they said yeah so I took my Mini indoors, flew it, had an absolutely great time and shot this video, gave them all the footage for free because, you know, hotels are really, really struggling through this pandemic. But this is one great thing about the Mini that you can't do with a bigger drone. You know, I could never have flown my Mavic 2 in this kind of proximity. Yeah, I think this is some of the craziest footage I've ever seen. Like, the, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the things that the Mini allows you to do is just... I mean, look at this shot. There's no way you'd have been able to do that with any other drone. Yeah, I mean, exactly. it's just crazy. And safety-wise, you know, I wouldn't have flown a bigger drone indoors in a hotel because even with the hotel empty, you know, if, if it hit any of these lamps, you know, the thing's going to go whizzing out of control, potentially. So... It's a drone that you can do things with that you couldn't do with any other drone. And that's why I love that Mini. It is a great, great little drone. By the way, guys, if you're okay. watching this feed, hit thumbs up for us. We'd really appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. And um, yeah, really, really um, appreciate the support. Also, link to Henry Robotics channel will be in the video description as well. Um, I haven't added that yet. I need to put it in there. But Henry down below that way. Um, this is his first ever live stream. He's got a great YouTube channel of his own. He's only 13 years old. And good for you, Henry, for being on top of the news um, of, of releases like this as it happens. But yeah, the Mavic yeah, Mini think... is a, a really, really capable little drone. And so I, you know, I think this new model is definitely going to appeal. It, you, people just have to think about what do they want out of a drone, really. Yeah, yeah. And to answer the question about Active Track, I can't find anything on their website about it. I do, I did find uh, quick shots, for example, Drony, Helix, Rocket, Circle, Boomerang. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't know about that. Um, I think this definitely appear, appeals to a user that's sort of in between the the Mavic series and the Mavic Mini series and the Mavic Air series. For example, you want a, a small light travel drone that just does 4K and can go medium distances and you won't have to worry about uh, um, transmission issues. I, I think yeah. this is the, a, a drone for people who are traveling, honestly. Agreed. And that transmission thing, reliability of, and stability of sig signal is key. I think the OcuSync is going to be a big feature. The 4K, um, as somebody else said as well, um, the fact that it has better motors as well, different battery technology, so it's going to be, you know, not, not hopefully not suffer from the battery fade that we saw on the original one. This is a video, by the way, of me flying my Mavic Mini in major wind. I can't remember how windy it was that day, but it was super windy. 25 miles per hour, 38 kilometers an hour. Um, you know, I flew the drone around. At no point was that drone being carried away. So the original Mavic Mini, if flown well, if flown properly, had pretty good wind handling. The new one has better wind handling, so that's really good. 
Um, Tony Wise, yeah, I've been checking my smart controller through the night. No updates for it right now. Um, and when I go to aircraft management, still no Mavic Mini 2 yet. I will check again right now. Todd asked, did I really fly the uh, drone backwards or did I play it in reverse? A uh, bit of a combination on that video, Todd. So I, I flew it legitimately for almost every single shot there. The only one that I reversed, I think, was the one where I flew it through the, um, the, the hanging bulbs, the lamps. Um, but all of the other shots were shot and, and shown in the right direction, <laughs> which I was quite proud of. Um, what else have we got? Mavic Mini 2, still without obstacle avoidance. Yes, that's correct, uh, Zel Zelco. Um, it, it is still without obstacle avoidance. It, if you need obstacle avoidance, your Mavic Air 2 is your next best option, unfortunately. There's not really any other option for you there. Um, yeah. Just checking the system updates on the smart controller, so we'll see if anything appears for that, but I... Nothing... No, latest version, unfortunately. Let's try aircraft management on the smart controller. But I am not expecting to see it there. Mavic Air 2, Mavic 2 Zoom, Mavic. No, no Mavic Mini 2 on the smart controller yet, folks. But I, I suspect it will be there much quicker than the delay we had waiting for the Mavic Air 2 because DJI Fly is already on the smart controller now and that was the biggest piece of work that dji had in trying to get this on there so a bit of a recap because we're going to close down soon um thank you everybody that's watching so far um really really appreciate all of the support um if you want a specific shout out send us a super chat or a super sticker and we'll absolutely shout your name out there um the mavic mini 2 is what's been released tonight by dji only the Mavic Mini 2, nothing else. We were expecting to see something else because of all of the odd spaceman imagery that we saw and rockets and paper airplanes and things, but no, just the Mavic Mini 2. The baseline price is more expensive. So what is that $50 more expensive than the original Mavic Mini, which is a, a disappointment. As we know, it's got a 4K sensor, it's got OcuSync, it's got better motors, it's got different battery technology, it's got a light on the front of it. Uh, it's got a few other features which might appeal to you. Um, uh, but yeah, that's it, unfortunately. It's of course got the Mavic Air 2 controller, or the same model controller. So overall, Henry, any, any thoughts, any last thoughts on this, this launch tonight? Uh, yeah, I think it's, it's just sad the fact that they couldn't get everything together to even release at the same time everything released at a different time the app I, I don't know i think it just fell apart and was very disappointing yeah i think that's that's absolutely valid yeah they sorry dji but you really messed this one up um the, the product went live on the website 15 minutes before the countdown had completed so we've already seen the trailer that we were all excited and waiting for on their premiere on the YouTube channel. And retailers had it for sale for the last <laughs> the last two weeks. So this is just a bit of a disappointing launch. But in summary, don't get us wrong, this is still a great drone. It's a brilliant drone. But it's just not we were expecting a little bit more from the launch event. That's the main thing. But the drone itself is is clearly fantastic. And it's incredible that they've packed this amount of technology into the into the tiny little mini mini body anyway thank you everybody for watching um just to add again henry robotic is the channel that you need to go and subscribe to straight after this i'll put a link in the chat right now this is henry's first ever live stream this guy's 13 years old which is just fantastic i wish i i wish youtube existed when i was 13 <laughs> i don't think oh slow did. shop oh slow shop and custom just uh chatted thanks guys oh, see ya good see for you. you thank you very much slow shopping custom that is our first and only super chat of this stream so thank you very much slow shop really appreciate that um frank smith just walked out of best buy with the combo you're lucky it's two o'clock in the morning in sweden i can't go anywhere to buy it <laughs> yeah um, uh, just to say thank you for having me on the stream um ash thanks so much it's been a great opportunity i think honestly, it's been great an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much, Henry, for joining us. You've been absolutely brilliant. You have been so cool and calm 
for your first ever YouTube live stream. And what time is it over there in California at the moment? It is 5.28 p.m. 5.28 p.m. A yeah. a 400 AGL, $2 super chat from you. Thank you very much, Mel. Really, really appreciate that. It is 2.30 in the morning here in Sweden. That's Man. the other complaint I have, DJI. Why this event time? It just didn't work for anybody um, really, because you know Americans are working, uh, Australians are probably in bed, uh, and Europeans are definitely definitely should be in bed at least. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm used to waking up to the uh, product uh, events and stuff. Like I'll wake up and then everything's released. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think I. <sighs> As much as I've, I've enjoyed being here and chatting with you and chatting with the viewers, but I think I, if I'd have known it was just the Mini 2 coming tonight, I'd have stayed in bed. Because we I, really I'd have done hoped, the same thing. We really hoped, didn't we, for something something new, but it is what it is. Anyway, yeah. we're going to say good, good night. Good night. We're going to say goodbye to Henry because he's probably off to have his dinner now. Genuinely, thank you very much, Henry. You have been a star. Thank you for being a Droning on Club member. That's why you're here on this stream as well because I'm all about giving new new YouTubers a chance that you know I didn't have when I had a, a couple of hundred subscribers um, you've got over a thousand now which is really really impressive if you guys are interested in joining the droning on club Henry and a load of other guys and members we've got a private discord server where we all chat constantly and help each other I'm helping these guys with their channels and they're helping each other which is lovely in fact two of my droning on club members that were on the stream of the, the Pocket 2 launch did their own stream together tonight. And it's lovely that we're building new relationships and new collaborations. So hit that join button below if you want to be part of it. There are a ton of perks. Unlike some channels, we're actually giving you real value for your subs subscription. And Henry is one of our members. Um, and hopefully, you know, you're getting a lot of that value from it. As well as Drone Fox Island in the chat. We've got Slow Shop and Custom and a few other channel members as well. So thank you to all of our members. And if you want an opportunity to be on a live stream like this, become a channel member and it might just happen. Thank you very much, Henry. Thank you. We'll see you on the next one. Uh, thank you very much, Henry. Really appreciate it. So that's it, folks, at the moment. Unfortunately, that is the, um, that's the product that's arrived, the Mavic Mini 2 from DJI. More expensive, but more capable than the original Mini. But it is... Um, it's still we were expecting a little bit more we just we just wanted some more products didn't we we didn't want another minor iteration of a product we wanted a, a full new blown drone an fp fpv drone a vertical aircraft uh, takeoff drone like the trailer that we saw you know the spaceman and this weird airplane taken off vertically i think we just wanted something a bit different but it didn't happen but we we do still ooh, camera's gone sorry there we go i'm back we do still have a lovely new portable drone with 4K, <clears throat> OcuSync, lithium polymer batteries, stronger motors, and some other features and a better app as well. So regardless of the fact we don't have other products, we're just being greedy perhaps, we do still have a better product than the original Mini and that we should be happy about. Thank you very much everybody for watching. Hit subscribe and we'll see you on the next launch. Thank you.